Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Rewards Day trading on FIFA 21 and Rewards Day is just a great day to start picking up players for cheap and obviously the market's going to crash because everyone's opening packs, people are panic selling because the weekend league's coming up but then there's all these packs coming out, they don't know what to do, market crashes, best time for you to start picking up players whether it's on bid, sniping, uh, just to invest in, so I'm going to show you guys all of that in just a moment but quickly before we do jump into it guys, if you're new around here be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on, also if you do do the video and it does help you out, smash the thumbs up, let me know your thoughts on Rewards Day trading in the comments below. And also, guys, just quickly, I've got 11 packs open. You can't actually see this right now. I've got 11 packs open from my Rivals and Champions rewards from this weekend. Um, I'm going to be opening these on stream tomorrow when the Scream promo comes out. So if you guys want to come through, twitch.tv forward slash harry17p. Link will be in the description along with all my other social medias. But yeah, guys, I'm going to jump straight into showing you guys who you should be trading with, who you should try and be picking up, and all that good stuff right now. So, guys, I made a video similar to this the other day. And basically, what you want to be looking at is players at like 84 to 88 rated, pretty much within that that uh, range and like I say the market is on its ass right now the market is so low you've got players like Onana that are 84 rated probably about 2k right now a little bit more I will put him up for 3k but so he's like 2.5k you better pick him up for and he's an 84 rated player right and at the moment there's nothing good for 84 rated players you don't need 84 rated players for anything however when it comes to SBCs that are going to be coming out in like the next three or four weeks that's actually a really good deal we're not gonna get that but in terms of SBCs that be coming out within the next couple of weeks, you're going to be needing 84s, 85s, probably even 86 rated players. And uh, we'll take that Champions League card as well because he's going to go into the marquee matchups. I can put him straight in there right now because I actually don't need to keep hold of him. But as you guys can see, it's 2k for an 84 rated player. Like When SBCs that are 84 to 85 to 86 rated that come out, these cards are going to be like 4 or 5k and be doubling your money on pretty much every single card. So if you pick up, I don't know, say 10 of them, you're going to be making like 20k profit or just off 10 onanas. And then depends who else you want to start picking up. But also, guys, because of the amount of packs that are being opened today, you can start sniping these players. Just just set the parameters a little bit lower than what you'd be wanting to pay for, pay for them. And then just pick them up. If they do come out, I don't know if Onan is actually going to show up. I don't know if he's someone that's being packed a lot. I've not, I've not tried it out with him. But the other thing is, guys, pick these players up and get ready to sell them um, for the weekend league. Like, players' prices are going to crash for a little bit today, but then come towards the end of the evening slash tomorrow morning, the cards are, prices are going to go straight back up again due to the fact that uh, people are buying the cards for their weekend league teams. So you guys definitely want to look at picking up some of the... Uh, some of the other players like the R84 to 85 rate players, but then also some of the meta players like if you've got enough coins players like Martial, he's probably dropped down a little bit. Where's he at right now actually? Last time I looked he was about 70k. Let's have a little look at what Martial's set at right now. He's actually gone up a little bit. Wait, man, it might not have been him that was 70k. Definitely wasn't him that was 70k. Okay, it definitely wasn't Marshall at 70k. But he's at like 140 right now. He'd probably sit about that, to be fair. I don't see him being much more than that. But you just got to think about the meta players that you guys are coming up against quite often, guys. Like Ed Miller Tau probably will go up a little bit. What's he at right now? Probably like 15k. Not even. Ed Miller Tau is literally like 8k. Mental. I actually might pick one of these up. Just for the fact that on the weekend league... He will probably end up going up in price a little bit. So I'm going to actually pick up a Militao there. I might end up picking up another one later on. As you can see, I've already got one in the club because I picked him up for cheap as well. But you just want to look at... So in terms of the trading for reward day is picking up players cheap to flip tomorrow when the weekend league's out or just over the weekend in general. Uh, players that you can snipe and pick up that are like 84, 85, 86 rated for a good price when the SBCs come out. You know you're going to double your coins on them. And just genuinely sniping players, guys. If you've got any any of your favourite sniping filters or anything like that, definitely go and try them out today because they'll be really, really good. Especially around 6pm UK time when a lot of people are home from work and opening packs and just, you know, flooding the market with all these players. But that's the end of the video, guys. I'm keeping it nice and short for you. Lot. I just wanted to show you the best methods that you guys should be trying out when you are actually trading on rewards day. So hopefully this has helped you. If it has, smash big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you've got any more questions or anything like that, let, again, let me know in the comments below and I will let you guys know the answers ASAP for you guys. So and if you haven't already, like I say, subscribe with notification turns. Don't miss any more videos on this channel. But yeah, guys, this can be the end of the video. We'll catch you all in the next one in a bit.